So Tucker Carlson is out at Fox News and Don Lemon out at CNN. Uh, And today, I'm sure by the time you watch this video, you've probably heard this story 150 times and people talking about how it's such a terrible thing. And Fox News basically sold out their their audience and he was their biggest personality and uh, they're going to just lose a whole bunch of money. But I want to talk about today the bigger picture that nobody really seems to be talking about. I've heard a couple people sort of mention it, but nobody really talks about it. And I'm sure I'm probably going to piss off a few Tucker Carlson fans out there, uh, but it really isn't about Tucker Carlson. Like I said, there's a much bigger picture going on that a lot of these people are missing uh, because they're missing the forest for the trees, basically. They're looking at this little picture, and they do this with all sorts of different things. They're looking at this little story and blowing it up into something massive. And meanwhile, there's a freight train coming down the track and nobody's paying attention to it. So in this video, what I want to do is talk about how this really applies to preparedness and where we are headed in the future. And it's not really about whether you like Tucker Carlson, whether you dislike Tucker Carlson, whether you like Don Lemon, dislike Don Lemon, all these controversial personalities that get on these media outlets and tend to sort of disappear when they upset the apple cart. Uh, And I think that is the bigger picture because we say it all the time, right? It always comes back to the money. Follow the money and you'll see exactly where this is going. And I think that is the bigger picture. Now, with this Tucker Carlson thing, there were a few things uh, leading up to this, which I think, in my opinion anyway, that led to this. Uh, And it was the fact that they couldn't, corporate media basically uh, is the problem with all this. You've got advertisers, you've got uh, sponsors, you know, Big Pharma, he all of these different people, the the board members, the the heads of these companies, all really, it's all about the money, right? They don't want to upset that apple cart. They want to make sure their bottom line is is still okay. And people say with Tucker Carlson, they, he was their, their highest rated uh, show on the network uh, in cable news in general. Now, how can that be good for their bottom line? But when you factor in maybe, you know, lawsuits, uh, you factor in maybe the advertisers didn't want to have their advertisements on his show, regardless of how big his audience was. So it all goes back to the money. It all goes back to the public sentiment. Same reason why Budweiser decided to put Dylan Mulvaney on their thing and all these different companies decide to do the things that we just think are completely outrageous, which are, you know, completely normal these days. They do it because they know it's going to increase the bottom line, whether we agree with it or not. So if you are one of these people that watch corporate media, these cable news shows, even newspapers that used to be newspapers, the New York Times and people like that, that were basically dying and trying to reinvent themselves. They are all subject to uh, advertisers and, you know, guests and getting connections and all those different things. So they are going to do and talk about the things that society deems acceptable. And that narrative is constantly changing and not in a good direction. So uh, when you think about it from a wider perspective, it's really not about Tucker Carlson. Uh, And uh, honestly, I stopped watching Fox News quite some time ago uh, because they sort of they're to me, they're a lion in sheep's clothing. Basically, they claim to be uh, somebody that is for the right. You know, CNN, there's no bones about it. They are for the left. Uh, Fox News claims to be uh, somebody, a, a news network that's for the right. But you know that's not true anymore. And, and I, I, I'm not saying they shouldn't be, but I'm saying what I'm saying is if you are going to be try to be center of the road, uh, don't act like you're something else. So don't act like something you're not. Be that network. But it's all about it all. Again, it all flows back to where's the money. Uh, It's all about the advertisers and where they're going to be able to get those advertisers and what they want to put on their shows. So if you have somebody like Tucker Carlson that's out with the Heritage Foundation talking about things that they don't deem acceptable, right? Or if you have him like the show right before he got fired, he basically called out big pharma 
and the mainstream media. You can't have that. Uh, that is why you never hear anything on any news channel about Big Pharma. That's why you never hear anything about the border. You might get stories here and there uh, that will cover it just to you know basically cover it or because it's a topic on a bigger story. You might see that stuff there. But as bad as the immigration crisis is right now, you'd think that would be something that would be talked about a lot. But it's not. You would think that with all of the nefarious things that Big Pharma has been responsible for in the past, that there would be a few more questions about things that are going on. But they're not. There's not. Because they are owned, basically. These corporations, these companies, these media outlets and corporations are owned, basically, by Big Pharma because of how much money they put into them. I think I read something that BlackRock owns 15% of Fox News. And we all know that BlackRock is basically the spearhead of this woke movement of trying to, the diversity, equality, inclusion, all these, whatever the, the million of millions of words are. They are the spearhead of all this. And they have their foothold in every single one of these corporations. So you would think that it wouldn't, you know, things like this, a lot of people think this doesn't affect my, you know, my preparedness at all. But I think it absolutely does because this is the direction that we are going as a society. Like it or not, there is no, there's no ending this. To me, I think of it sort of like, you know, a bunch of different movies that have the, the people rafting down the river and all of a sudden there's this waterfall coming up pirates of the caribbean or, or any movie just a raft going down a river and all of a sudden people are going over the edge uh, your boat's about to go over the edge people instead of you know trying to frantically paddle backwards and avoid that i think as preppers we need to get ready uh to be able to survive that fall right to be able to you know do some research about what position you should be in when you go over this waterfall or or how to dive into the water once you get down there or grab on to somebody and use them uh, as your your support for when you hit the water down there but instead of trying to paddle backwards and fighting this the tide or the current we ought to be just learning how to prepare for this uh, because i do see it as something that's inevitable because it is a one, it's it's society. Society shapes what these corporations, what these advertisers, what these board members, uh, society shapes what they decide to do. But what it does is it takes one idea, say it's a, it's the homosexuality thing or the guns, uh, something like that. It takes one idea that, that society might agree on and it puts it under a giant microscope and it takes all the worst parts about those things or the most controversial parts about those things and expands it and expands it. So the direction we're going as a society, I just don't see it you know, changing until we fall over that cliff. And that's because of uh, the money, the, the money going towards the top. It's because of these advertisers. It's because these corporations are trying to make sure they survive. And you can't hardly blame them for it. It's business. But when business is shaping the way we think and the way we think is shaping business and it's all just this cyclical machine that just keeps rolling and rolling into this um, this place that I, I, I think we're heading, um, it's just... You know, it it just is not a good, I, I just don't see it being a good outcome. And unfortunately, a lot of people do see that as a good outcome. This is, we're advancing as a society. We're doing all these great things and we're, you know, we're, we're getting much better at all these, these different things. And I just don't see it that way. Uh, I, I think there are some great advancements we've made. I think there are some great things that are going on. But like I said, when everything gets put under a microscope, and all of a sudden, it's okay uh, to do certain things. And it's, you know, it's acceptable to do certain things. And if you are not accepting of that, you are all of a sudden a homophobe, a racist, or whatever, a, uh, you know, a million different words that they use uh, to basically make people conform. And if you don't conform, you're cast out and chastised. So um, I just think there's a, a bigger picture that a lot of people are missing. And if you get your news, if you allow corporate media to form your opinion about certain subjects. I think you're missing the entire point because I've said this before, mainstream or uh, corporate media and even mainstream media, there really is no difference. I hate shows like TMZ and Hollywood Reporter that report on these Hollywood people or athletes or whoever that really don't affect me whatsoever. Uh, you know, but people watch those shows. They're really popular. 
Cable news is really no different than those shows. They are not really telling you what, what the news. They're basically giving you their opinions on the different news or they are spinning things and trying to, they basically have their little segment where they know what the end goal is. They know what they want you to think by the time they're done speaking. So their whole, whether it's little, you know, they get a group of people talking about a certain subject or just one person, it's all formulated to end up getting you pissed off or, or upset about one thing or getting you riled up uh, and, and basically moved in that direction. And this goes for CNN. This goes for Fox. This goes for all of them. You've got these panels that are set up the same way where you've got maybe three conservatives and one liberal or CNN. You've got um, three liberals and one conservative. And they're all set up to make you you feel the same way. We're getting this person in here to may, maybe be the devil's advocate, but we're going to make sure this goes the way we want. And the corporations, the leaders, the Murdochs and whoever, that all these people that run these places and their shareholders and their stockholders, they all want the bottom. They they all want the money, right? They all want the money from the advertisers and all that stuff. So they are going to make sure that the things that get said, Fox News especially, they're going to make sure the things that get said sort of skirt the line on the right, but they don't go too far as to, uh, you know, separate themselves from the, the accepted public narrative. The other news companies really have it a whole lot easier because that's their game, right? The, that's their game is the, you know, the accepted narrative is exactly what they talk about. So when you talk about racial inequality, you just amp that up a little bit and people are going to agree with you. Um, you go to the other side of that aisle and you talk about how racial inequality is too amped up, then, you know, the advertisers are going to go away from that. So it's all the it, it's all about the money. It's all about the corporations. It's, it's all about all these people that are trying to move uh, everything in that direction because they want their bottom line to increase. And unfortunately, us as society, we get sort of pulled along in that tide, like I said, right until that goes over the cliff. And then everything changes. This shirt right here, Tio Tawaki, the end of the world as we know it. That's where I think we're right in the middle of it. This this huge shift of how things are going to change. And just because we go over the cliff doesn't mean there's no coming back from that. Uh, it just means there's a, a huge change coming uh, one way or the other. So, uh, yeah, I, I you know, there's a bigger issue here. And I just wanted to do a video about this because I see so many people talking about, oh, Tucker this and Tucker that. Tucker Carlson's going to be fine. Tucker Carlson's going to make a lot of money. Fox News is going to be fine. They're going to make a lot of money. They survived Bill O'Reilly, who was even had more viewers than Tucker Carlson did. They survived Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly survived. All these big corporations, uh, Black Rocks and Nike and even Budweiser, are all going to survive uh, because they have that capital and they have that advertising team. And, and we are all susceptible to that. And we all you know, feed into what they're doing. Uh, and I think as preppers, as far as preparedness goes, uh, we just need to pay attention. Like I said in the beginning, instead of trying to paddle backwards uh, and avoid the waterfall, uh, it's basically getting ready for when we do go over the waterfall, because I really do think uh, something like that is coming. Uh, how how tall is that waterfall? You know, how far are we going to fall? Uh, who knows? I mean, it, it, it's just at the rate we're going right now, the waterfall just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. So uh, who knows? But I think in preparedness, it is up to us. Uh, it, it The things that we can do on a local level, on a personal level, on a family level is prepare to go over this cliff. Uh, and I think that's exactly what we need to do in preparedness. So all the noise about Tucker Carlson, all the noise about Fox News, all the noise about all these, uh, you know, corporate media uh, and the mainstream media is all really irrelevant when you think about the big picture. Um, get your news from, you know, th these independent media outlets, these independent people that are talking about things. Maybe get a headline from here or there and then research that yourself. Don't depend on Tucker Carlson or Don Lemon to tell you how to think and how to feel. And at the end of the day, as far as preparedness is concerned, it's all about getting yourself ready. Whatever might come your way, uh, because we really, truly don't know uh, where all of, there's so many different moving parts right now that we have no idea. So just, you know, put your life vest on, <laughs> put your life jacket on, uh, get ready to go over this cliff and, you know, brace yourself for the fall as much as possible. Cross your fingers, pray all those different things and hope that um, you come out the other side uh, or, or whoever it is uh, out the other side 
uh, and you're still around to, uh, you know, to live another day, I suppose. So at any rate, love to get your guys' thoughts on that. Uh, not necessarily the whole Tucker Carlson thing, but how this this financial system and the, the you know, the corporations, basically, corporations, politicians, and the elites are basically running the show uh, and deciding uh, the World Economic Forum deciding where everything is headed in the future. And uh, as as people were sort of just kind of following along, for the most part, just following along like little lemmings uh, until, you know, again, till we go over the cliff. Although I believe that's a myth, the lemmings over the cliff. Uh, at any rate, uh, if you have any comments, any anything like that, make sure uh, and leave them below. If you like the video, make sure and subscribe. I'm doing some live streams from time to time over here, uh, doing quite a few videos. So make sure and subscribe to the channel uh, to get updates when I do those. Uh, also, I've got a locals group that I'm setting up. It's the Survivalist Prepper Locals Group. Uh, join that over there. I'll be putting stuff over there from time to time. But uh, with that, I just wanted to get that off my chest this morning. I see all this stuff going on, and it's just uh, it's frustrating that people are so focused on one little thing, they're not seeing the big picture. So uh, at any rate, take care and prepare, everyone. We will talk to you all later.